Hello, in this video we're going to go over this interesting problem. So the problem is this. Show that the plane cannot be covered by the interiors of finitely many parabolas. This was a problem, this is a problem that was suggested by one of the users on my YouTube channel. The first thing you want to do is you want to spend some time thinking about this problem and then come back and watch how I solve the problem. So, uh, so basically this is the problem. So you have a parabola uh, the region in the interior means the region that is, um, if it is opening up parabola, it would be uh, the part that is above it. Now, notice that you could also use parabolas that are tilted, so you could have parabolas that are um, like this. These are also acceptable. If you take infinite, if you take finitely many of these, you would not be able to cover the entire uh, plane with these regions. As usual, I'm going to start with my ideas, some of the things that I use, some of them are not going to work, and some of them will work, and at the end we'll get to a solution. In fact, the final idea that works for the solution isn't very difficult, but um, the attempts that I had in the beginning were unsuccessful, and this is not a very easy problem. So here's the first thing that I tried. Let me see if I can kind of come up with an idea of why the plane cannot be covered with true parabolas. So the first thing is, if you look at the parabola, so what is a parabola? You have a focus and you have what we call a directrix and the region inside is all of the points that are closer to the focus than the line. So in other words, if the distance between this point P and F is less than the distance between point P and L, then the point P is in the interior of the parabola. If I have two of these parabolas, I want to show there is a point that satisfies the, um, uh, it doesn't satisfy either of the two inequalities. In other words, if I have a line L and a focus F, and I have another line, maybe K, and a focus perhaps um, E, then I'm looking for a point A that the distance between A and F is more than the distance between A and the line L. This could be less than or equal to. And the distance between A and E is also more than the distance between A and uh, K. And pretty much the points E and F and L and K are arbitrary, except that you don't want the point F to be on the line L or the point E to be on the line K. So what I thought was maybe I can find this point using these lines and because if you take two lines you have four different regions so perhaps you can find one of these regions that um, the uh, points inside that region are completely um, the, all of them satisfy this. This was not quite accurate in all instances so for example if you take a parabola like this and this is the directrix and if you take a parabola like this and this is the directrix then regions that are, that we have are one two three regions so there's always going to be a point in this region a point in this region and a point in this region that doesn't work so there are points in all of these three regions that do not work so the idea um, that I had initially was looking at these n, let's say you have n parabolas, you have n directrix, and these n lines divide the plane into at least n plus 1 regions, and that's not very difficult to see. One of these regions um, is going to be outside of all of these parabolas. But of course that was actually not true because of this example. So this idea did not work. The next thing that I thought um, was, why is it that the question is about parabolas? I thought, okay, is it true if I replace parabolas, which the equations are of the form y equals x squared or variations of that? Of course, again, as I said, this could be upside down, this could be tilted, so it's not necessarily all like that. But I was wondering if I can replace these parabolas with, say, absolute values, with um, basically like um, infinite uh, V shapes. Can I replace them with that? And of course it can be replaced and we can actually cover the entire plane with these uh, um, absolute values. So I can have like this region, this region, this region, and this region. I can have these shapes that do cover 
uh, finitely many of them do cover the entire plane. So what is specific about parabolas? And what I noticed was the specific thing about parabola is the fact that the growth is actually quite fast. So what does that mean? In other words, if I look at a parabola, what I was thinking was, okay, can I, can I fit like a triangle here? and then use these triangles to cover the entire plane? The answer is no, because if you look at these two lines, and I'm talking about like an infinite like triangle, not really a triangle, like an infinite V shape. If I look at this V shape, at some point, the line is going to hit the parabola because the growth of uh, quadratic is faster than linear, which means you're going to go outside. So. That was the idea that, in fact, eventually worked. So how do we deal with this? So consider one of these parabolas. With that loss of generality, I'm going to assume that it is y equals ax squared. a is positive. If you look at this parabola and look at any line, so let's look at a line y equals mx plus b. So this is an opening up parabola. And just look at any line. At some point, so if you look at ax squared minus mx plus b, this is going to be more than zero for all the x greater than some m. If absolute value of x is greater than some m for a constant m, this is going to be true. Why? Because this is a quadratic. And quadratic opening up is going to be positive for x larger than something and for x less than something. So if absolute value of x is more than m, this quadratic, which the leading coefficient is positive, would be positive. What does that mean? It means y equals, a, uh, y equals ax squared is above this region, uh, above this line. So this line is going to be below that, which means all of these points are going to be outside of the interior of the parabola. And the same thing is true on this side. Every point here is also going to be outside of the parabola, which means the intersection of the interior of the parabola and any line so this is not exactly any line it is a line that is not parallel to the um, axis of symmetry any line that is not parallel to its axis of symmetry is finite. So the intersection of the interior of a parabola and any line that is not parallel to its um, axis of symmetry, so any line that is not vertical in this case, is finite. So what does that mean? It means if you have uh, a bunch of parabolas, let's say P1 through Pn are parabolas, and And then L1 through Ln are axis of symmetry. I can find a line, so find a line L that is not parallel to any of these. That is not parallel to any Li. If you find that line, that line intersects each of these PIs in a finite segment. So what does that mean? It means if you put all of these together, it doesn't cover L. So L cannot be covered by the interiors of P1 through Pn. And that means we cannot cover the entire plane with these parabolas. And that completes the solution. Now, you could think about this one and see if you can, in fact, cover the entire plane using uh, countably many parabolas. And I believe the answer to that is yes. And it's not very difficult to see. Uh, I want to just give you a hint. And the hint is that use the fact that if you look at all uh, the entire plane R2, Q2 is dense 
in R2 and countable. So Q2 is countable and it is dense. So make sure you come up with parabolas that contain every single um, rational point. And if you do have every single rational point within the interior of every parabola, then you'll be able to uh, show that in fact every single um, every single point on the plane would also be in these parabolas if you have in the interior and not on the boundary. Okay, so that brings me to the end of this video. So I will see you in the next video.